For years, people reported seeing strange-looking bears in the Arctic. In 2010, an Inuit man came across one of the bears and scientists were intrigued. It looked like a hybrid bear, a combination of polar bear and something else. They wanted to do some research to find out how this bear came to be. Scientists are still struggling to understand new Bisley bear creature. This Inuit man's name is David Katana. He lives on Victoria Island. The bear was discovered in the frozen Canadian north along the coast of the Arctic Circle. The temperature is typically below zero. David was born in an igloo in a small coastal community called Ulkaktak. Only a few hundred people are living in the area. The community is home to the northernmost golf course in the world. This far north, groceries are costly because it can be challenging to get them. Because of the cost, most people live off the land. The Inuit people hunt polar bears. When the Arctic gets warmer, polar bears tend to spend more time on the land. This is because there is less ice in the water for them to stand on. This puts them in a human's way to be hunted. Polar bears are great for their meat. The Inuit people use their fur for boots and pants. Since polar bears are vulnerable to extinction, New laws have been placed regarding hunting. However, the Inuit hunters still hunt them. Each year, the community gets a dozen tags for polar bears each year. This is how David found this incredible bear. In April 2010, David found a creature that he had never seen before. He and his wife set out on their snowmobile and drove across the sea ice to a cabin on the island. They were planning to stay there while they hunted. When they got there, they found something that surprised them. Someone had broken into their cabin looking for food. It didn't take long for David to realize that it was a bear. David and his wife decided to head to a different cabin. This one was also ransacked, and there were fresh bear tracks in the snow. Even more strange was the mattress was pulled off the bed and dragged outside. This was something David had never seen bears do. He went from cabin to cabin, and all five were ransacked. It was when he got to the sixth cabin that he found something incredible. The sixth cabin, David spotted a bear but it was not a polar bear. This bear was blonde with dark paws and dark eyes. When it ran, David chased it. He thought it was a grizzly and he had never seen one before. He was scared because he had never seen a creature like this. When he caught up to the bear, she shot it and killed it. He took it to the local government officer in town who told him that it wasn't a grizzly bear. It also wasn't a polar bear. He believed it to be a hybrid. The officer took samples of the bear's DNA to be tested. It didn't take long for the officer to find out that this wasn't the only bear of its kind. There were 20 bears born in captivity just like this. Two of them were in Germany's Osnaburg Zoo. Their names are Tips and Taps. They are called Pizzly Bears. In 2006, a hunter found the first confirmed Pizzly Bear on Banks Island, Northern Territories, Canada. There had been stories of these strange-looking bears, but the DNA wasn't tested until 2006. When they found the hybrid, they didn't think much of it at first. When the third confirmed hybrid was discovered in 2016 by a hunter in RV at Canada, they were sure that this breed was created due to climate change and interbreeding. As the climate warmed and the Arctic ice melted, there weren't as many polar bears out. This meant that they had a mate with other species of bears. This bear gets its features from both his parents. Their heads aren't sleek and they aren't boxy. They have long claws and hairy feet. The Bisley's fur is partially hollow depending where it is on the body. These characteristics make it difficult for the bear to adapt to climate change. When the DNA test came back, it revealed that the bear's mother was half polar bear, half grizzly bear. The father was a full grizzly. This meant that the bear David killed was 75% grizzly and 25% polar bear. This is how it got its name, the Bisley bear. A group of scientists managed to trace the species back to one female polar bear in 2017. They called her Bear 10960. It took a lot of DNA testing to figure this out. They did remind that the female mated with two different polar bears and one of them twice. She had three litters. Scientists believe that she mated with a grizzly because there were no polar bears around. Only time will tell how many more species of hybrid animals will we find due to the climate change. As climate change changes the way that animals hunt and breed, we might see this happening more often.